हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्रो टैलेंट एंड दिस इज आवर करंट अफेयर डिसम्बर थर्ड वीक मॉड्यूल नंबर वन वेर इन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फ्रॉम एटीन डिसम्बर टू ट्वेंटी थर्ड डिसम्बर लेट मी स्टार्ट वन बाय वन हाउ थिंग्स आर बींग वर्कड आउट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद नंबर वन दिस इज रेरा नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रेरा एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विल कम अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर्स दस फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड नो सो वॉट इज रेरा इट इज अ रियल एस्टेट रेग्युलेटरी ऑथोरिटी विच इज नाउ कमिंग अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर विच इज एन एक्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो दिस रेरा है ना इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्ट प्राइमरली टू रेग्युलेट रियल एस्टेट रिलेटेड इश्यूज सो रेरा इज अ रेग्युलेशन है ना एंड अ प्रमोशन ऑफ रियल एस्टेट सेक्टर आई एम श्योर यू नो रेगुलेटर लाइक सेबी और ट्राई सेबी इज अ सिक्योरिटी एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया ट्राई इज टेलीकॉम रेगुलेटरी ऑथोरिटी ऑफ इंडिया सिमिलरली फॉर रियल एस्टेट सेक्टर इट इज रेरा ओके सो दैट इज हाउ दी रेरा इज फॉर द रेगुलेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट पर्पज सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रेरा इट मेक्स इट मैंडेटरी फॉर ऑल बिल्डर्स डेवलपिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट वेर द लैंड एक्सीड्स फाइव हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर टू रजिस्टर विथ रेरा बिफोर लॉन्चिंग और इवन एडवर्टाइजिंग दैट प्रोजेक्ट so any builder you can say who is developing any real estate which is above 500 square meter of land it has to get approved through rera the promoter of real estate development firm has to maintain a separate escrow account where minimum 70% of the money from the investor will be deposited and that money can only be used for the construction of the project and the cost borne towards the land nowhere else that amount to be utilized the rera requires builders to submit the original approved plans for their ongoing project as well as alteration they have made they also have to furnish details of revenue collected from allotees and how the funds are utilized so rera is a game changer in the real estate market in the real estate market such kind of regulation is very much needed for the people for the people like you and me who are just purchasing some land or certain kind of we can say house we are purchasing or shop we are purchasing so rera is one of the very important part coming to issue number 2 in an effort to tackle the delay in the issuing of adoption orders by the court which are supposed to dispose such cases within 2 months the you can say ministry of women and child development is planning to amend Juvenile Justice Act (JJ Act) 2015. They are going to amend this. So, primarily, what are they trying to change? They are trying to empower the executive magistrate instead of court to issue orders under the adoption proceedings. Presently, according to JJ Act, once the adoption order is issued by the court, the child becomes son and daughter of adoptive parents for all purposes from that day on which the adoption order. takes place further all ties of the child and his or her biological family stand severed and are replaced by those created by the adopted parents so this is how the scenario is so this is primarily to increase the speed of the adoption process coming to issue number 3 meghalaya launches india's first social audit law so thereby Meghalaya has become the first state in the country to apply this Public Service Social Audit Act. Okay, so this is Meghalaya Community Participation and Public Services Social Audit Act 2017. So thereby, Meghalaya has become the first state in India to operationalize the law that makes social audit of the government program and schemes as a part of government practice. so this is one of the very important part the legislation provides a legal framework for allowing citizens participation in planning of development selection of beneficiaries concurrent monitoring of services and programs on annual basis so this is what meghalaya became the first state to do it coming to issue number 4 ima that is indian 
मेडिकल एसोसिएशन हैज टाइटर्न द स्क्रूज ऑन द एंटीबायोटिक प्रिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ सो इन रिसेंट टाइम देर इज अलार्मिंग ग्रोथ इन एंटीबायोटिक रेजिस्टेंस सो पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड यूजिंग एंटीबायोटिक इनडिस्क्रिमिनेटली सो ड्यू टू विच उसकी वजह से प्रॉब्लम ये होने लगा दैट पीपल हैव बिकम रेजिस्टेंट टू एंटीबायोटिक and then people have become multi drug resistant and that is where the problem is okay because then this antibiotics will not be useful on the people so ima has advised its members to mandatorily restrict the usage of antibiotics for the treatment of proven bacterial infection so this ima is against antibiotics or the ability of bacteria to mutate or change or so as to resist the effects of antibiotics so this is how the problem is the more we use it the more bacteria become resistant and thereby antibiotic will not have any kind of effect so ima has tightened rope which is very important coming to issue number 5 sendai framework which is one of the very important issue from upsc prelim perspective remember this national disaster management authority which is government of india's authority is conducting first national level training program for trainers to sensitize the various central ministries and departments on utilization of sendai you can say monitor for developing action plans for disaster risk reduction sendai monitor for developing action plan for disaster risk reduction so the program is being organized by national disaster management authority in collaboration with united nations office for disaster risk reduction global education and training institute which is called unisdr getty so what is this you can say sendai network in 2016 india became one of the first countries to align its national disaster management plan with the sendai framework for disaster risk reduction so india has become one of the first countries to do this various activities are being undertaken across the country to achieve the targets identified in sfdrr so what is this you can say sendai framework sendai framework is for some around 15 years 2015 to 2030 it is the first major agreement post 2015 development agenda and identifies targets priority action plan towards reducing disaster risk and implementing development that is both resilient and sustainable sendai framework is a 15 year voluntary remember it is voluntary non binding agreement which recognizes the state has the primary role to reduce disaster risk but the responsibility should be shared with the other stakeholders including local government private sector and other stakeholder so that is how the sendai framework remember this this is one of the very important part coming to issue number 6 that is deep learning neural network scientists have announced discovery of two new exoplanets kepler 90i and kepler 80g okay so these are the two exoplanets so what do you mean by exoplanets the planet outside our solar system they are called exo exo is out so exoplanets okay with this discovery it is now clear that there is another star besides sun that is having eight planets orbiting around it the new exoplanets have been discovered using deep learning neural network which is an artificial intelligence tool that mimic that copies how our brain works scientists trained their computer to analyze light readings made by nasa's kepler space telescope so nasa ka jo kepler space telescope hai usse jo light कैप्चर हो रही है उसका एनालिसिस करना सो विच इज कॉल्ड डीप लर्निंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस डीप लर्निंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क डीप लर्निंग इज अ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक दैट टीचेस कंप्यूटर्स टू डू व्हाट कम्स नेचुरली टू ह्यूमन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड लर्न बाय एग्जांपल इन डीप लर्निंग कंप्यूटर मॉडल लर्न्स टू परफॉर्म क्लासिफिकेशन टास्क directly from images text or sound deep learning models can achieve 
स्टेट ऑफ दी आर्ट एक्यूरेसी समटाइम्स एक्सीडिंग ह्यूमन लेवल परफॉर्मेंस मॉडल्स आर ट्रेन बाय यूजिंग लार्ज सेट ऑफ लेबल डेटा एंड न्यूरल नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर दैट कंटेन मेनी लेयर सो दिस इज हाउ दी डीप लर्निंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क वर्क कमिंग टू एलियन इन्वेजिव एनिमल स्पीशीज विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जुओलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया हेज फॉर दी फर्स्ट टाइम कंपाइल्ड a list of 157 alien invasive animal species so this 157 species are very important out of which 58 are found on land and fresh water while 99 are in marine ecosystem the compilation was announced on the sideline of national conference on the status of invasive alien species in india organized by zsi which is zoological survey of india and botanical survey of india what are this invasive animal species so they are alien species they become invasive when they are introduced deliberately or accidentally outside their natural area where they outcompete then native species and upset the entire ecological balance just like in australia rabbit were introduced okay somewhere around you can say in 1960s and 70s so rabbits were introduced and rabbits created such a havoc in australia such that more than 3/4 of the australia has become a kind of desert theek hai pura registan ban gaya shuruaat mein do ya teen rabbit aaye the aur aaj wahan rabbit ki basti itni bad gayi ki jahan pe 3/4 of the australia became a kind of desert that's how the alien species they become invasive common characteristics of this invasive species include rapid reproduction rabbit has that and and growth high dispersal ability phenotonic plasticity that is ability to adapt physiologically to new condition ability to survive on various food types and a wide range of environmental conditions so this is a alien invasive species india has identified for the first time 157 species okay coming to issue number 8 called pratap helicopter soviet के जमाने के एम आई एट जो हेलीकॉप्टर थे जिसको हम प्रताप बोलते थे ठीक है विच वर द बैकबोन ऑफ इंडियन एयरफोर्स दे हैव बीन फेस्ड आउट ठीक है एंड ब्रिंगिंग टू एन एंड टू इट्स ग्लोरियस करियर ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ठीक है फॉर्मली इट वॉज इंडक्टेड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू ठीक है एज प्रताप एम आई एट टू पार्ट इन सेवरल मेजर आई एफ ऑपरेशन इंक्लूडिंग ऑपरेशन मेघदूत इन सियाचिन ग्लेशियर एंड इंडियन पीस कीपिंग फोर्स ऑपरेशन इन Shilanka the helicopter inducted in 10 operational helicopter unit and this is on the humanitarian ground disaster relief operation may use hota hai at the same time it is also associated with vip vvip flying okay so this is pratap has been phased out coming to issue number 9 called nyay gram project president of india mr ramnath kovin recently laid out the foundation stone of nyay gram project of high court of allahabad हाईकोर्ट ऑफ अलाहाबाद का ये प्रोजेक्ट है इट इज अ मॉडल टाउनशिप फॉर हाईकोर्ट इन अलाहाबाद दिस टाउनशिप विल इंक्लूड अ जुडिशियल एकेडमी एंड ऑडिटोरियम एंड रेसिडेंसिस फॉर जजेस एंड दी स्टाफ दिस इज न्याय ग्राम प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट टाइम हैपनिंग इन इंडिया दैट इज एट हाईकोर्ट ऑफ अलाहाबाद इश्यू नंबर टेन इंडियन फॉरेस्ट एक्ट विच वॉज इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इंडियन फॉरेस्ट बिल टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन हैज बीन टेबल्ड इन लोकसभा द बिल सिक्स to amend indian forest act to exempt felling and transportation of bamboo grown in non forest areas from the state permit so non forest area mein bamboo ka girana aur uska transportation has been now allowed so the bill seeks to exempt bamboo grown in non forest areas from the definition of tree thereby dispensing with the requirement of felling and transit permit for its economic use however bamboo grown in the forest area shall continue to be governed by the previous indian forest act of 1927 remember bamboo scientifically is called grass taxonomically it is grass but it is legally defined as tree under indian forest act 1927 coming to issue number 11 that is payment of gratuity amendment bill 2017 the payment of gratuity amendment bill 
2017 has been introduced in Lok Sabha. The bill will allow it to notify a higher period of maternity leave and raise gratuity limit for their employees. According to the statement of objects and reason for the bill, the amendment will allow the central government to notify maternity leave period for female employees and also improve the gratuity related benefits. Coming to issue number 12, a plea in Supreme Court 6 OBC status for farmer. Farmer ke liye OBC status milna chahiye, uska ek plea aya hai and Supreme Court has called for a response from the center. The plea has come based on the issue at government of Gujarat and National Commission for Backward Classes on PIL saying that farmer be included in the OBC irrespective of their caste and religion. So, citing APS court precedents in Indira Swane versus Union of India wherein it was categorically held that the benefit of reservation can be extended to OBC or based on quantifiable data the petitioner sought the court to direct government to prepare a survey report as well as review report about the development and progress for the inclusion and exclusion of classes and thereby including the farmers in it. It also called for laying down appropriate rules, guidelines for determination of the income limit. Currently for income limit there are no proper guidelines available. So that is what issue number 12. Coming to issue number 13, World Migration 2018 report has been released. The World Migration Report 2018 is the ninth in the series. Since 2000, International Organization for Migration, which is called IOM, has been producing World Migration Report, primarily to contribute increased understanding of migration throughout the world. Okay. So, definition of international migrants used in report is very broad, taking into account anyone living in a country other than their own and includes refugees and economic migrants, both those immigrating officially and those who do so irregularly. So, these people are, you can say, clubbed under this migration status. Okay. The numbers are very interesting. Okay. The numbers are not account of people by national origin or ethnicity. Therefore, they do not include children of migrants born in a country their parents went to. So, this is only people who have gone, not their children. While India tops the world in the number of migrants. Again, some around 16.59 million people of India, they are living abroad. Mexico is coming at number 2, where 13 million migrants are staying outside. From India, largest place where people of Indian origin live, that is what UAE and second is USA, okay. These are the two places where India lives, okay. Moving towards the number of migrants from other countries living in India is 5.2 million. So, from outside India, it is in India 5.2. In Europe, there are 1.3 million people from India. Britain has most of them. Canada has now 6 lakh people from India. And Australia has showed higher jump, okay, more than four times. Earlier, it was 90,000 people. Now, it is 4 lakh people. So, this is how the World Migration Report. So, about this organization which develops this report, that the organization is called International Organization for Migration, IOM. It was established in 1951. IOM is a leading intergovernmental organization in the field of migration and works closely with government and intergovernmental and non-governmental partners. Currently, it has 169 member states and further 8 states holding observatory status. Okay, So, this is how the World Migration Report and IOM which is called UN Migratory Agency. Coming to issue number 14, BBIN Motor Pact, a pending notification from Bhutan, India, as well as in say Bangladesh and Nepal motor vehicle agreement again for seamless movement of passenger and cargo vehicle has been signed in some round 2015. Now this is very important for this land connected states Nepal, India, this is Bangladesh and this is Bhutan. Again, 
Bhutan has not yet ratified the pact for its entry in to become, you can say, uh, to part of this. However, Bhutan has given its consent for BBI and MVA to enter into force among the other three countries who have already ratified. So, BBIN is an agreement which encapsulates the spirit of economic integration. The main objective of the agreement is to provide seamless people to people contact, enhance economic interaction and facility and facilitating them cross border movement. So, this is how it is happening. Andhra Pradesh signs MOU with Google. Google ka ek division hai jisko bolte project X, hai, which is a division owned by the parent company of Google called Alphabet. They have signed an MOU with Andhra Pradesh. So, project X deals with experimental technologies. Hai, here, this center is getting developed at Vishakha Patanam and primarily to create high speed internet that does not require any special cabling. No cables will be used. Instead of cable, the X internet network will use free space optical communication called FSOC technology. The network will power internet in 13 districts through 2000 FSOC links. The X center in Vishakapatnam will be first, you can say, outside USA. So, Project X ka ye pehla koi, you can say, center hoga jo USA ke bahar hai. So, what is FSOC technology? It is an optical communication technology that uses light to wirelessly transmit data to telecommunication and internet application. So, this has remained outside the commercial application for a long time owing to its distance, speed and efficiency related problem. So, this link use beams of light to deliver high speed, high capacity connectivity over long distances. Again, just like fiber optic cable. So, and because there is no cable, this means there is none of the time, cost and hassle involved in digging trenches or stringing cables along the poles. So, that will create, interestingly, it will be very fast. Less than 20% people in Andhra Pradesh have access to broadband connectivity and FSOC box can simply be placed kilometers apart on roof or towers with the signal beaming directly between boxes to easily traverse the common obstacles like river, road and railways. So, that way it will be very interesting. So, FSOC technology ke baare mein thoda sa aur dekhe. So, the state government has committed to connecting 12 million household through this particular AP fiber grid. Us AP fiber grid ka ye ek part hai aur ye jo Google ka project X hai, wo 2010 mein found kara gaya tha. Primarily aim to aim on finding uh, solutions to world's you can say larger problem called internet connectivity. Working on several projects including driverless car, project delivery through flying vehicle, project loon, google glass are the few other you can say program where alphabet company is working. Okay. Coming to issue number 16. UP COCA bill, UP COCA and mafia or sangatit aparat se nipatne ke liye ye bill banaya gya hai okay, which is on the line of makoka which is Maharashtra control of organized crime. Okay. Gujarat ka bhi aisa ek bill bina ke rakha hai. Now this is UP has developed this bill called Uttar Pradesh Control of Organized Crime Act. Okay. The bill seeks to check organized and white collar crime. So this is how UP COCA bill has been you can say drafted. Coming to number 17. Global Conference on Functional Material. International Conference on Advanced Functional material is being held at Telangana. The conference aims to address the application aspect of functional material in the area of societal relevance to discuss current scientific issues and to ignite scientific temper in young researcher. So, this is primarily application of smart material in the area of nanotechnology, nanoscience, synthetic chemistry, sensors and computational material science. So, this is where it is basically being built up. Coming to issue number 18, Goa sets up task force to fight drug menace. Goa government has formed anti-narcotic task force comprising members of various law enforcement agency to draw comprehensive action plan to combat trafficking of drugs. Goa being a global tourist destination, lacks of tourists, international as well as 
domestic. Visit state every year and are major target of drug peddler and thereby this bill has come into force. Coming to issue number 19, IIM bill. So parliament has unanimously passed the IIM bill 2017 granting IIM the power to grant degrees instead of postgraduate diploma. So far IIM used to provide PGPM postgraduate program or postgraduate diploma in management. That's a kind of degree but that's a kind of certificate they used to provide. Now they will be in a position to provide you degrees. So they will have board. So IIM will become institutes of national importance with proper grants okay? and the boards of the institute are proposed to be vested with full autonomy including power to appoint their chairperson as well as director okay so that is how the issue will come up now the board will be the principal executive body of each institute and the chairperson of the board would be appointed by the board for a period of four years director of each iim will be appointed by the board for a period of five years via search come selection panel iim accounts will be audited by cag that is very important okay so this is how the scenario will take place coming to issue number 20 e-cigarettes so government is examining the legal implication and health effects of e-cigarettes the health ministry has constituted three groups to study various aspects of e-cigarettes so one was to study the legal implication of e-nicotine and drug induced system another way was to go into the health effect and the other study is the we can say about advocacy whether it is to be promoted or not so electronic cigarette or e-cigarette is a battery powered vaporizer which mimics like tobacco smoking so it doesn't have tobacco in it but it has nicotine and then there is a water in it so water vapor so admi jab e-cigarette smoke karta hai to water vapor or nicotine jata hai nicotine liquid ko juice ki tarike se matlab andar ja raha that's how it is being failed okay so proponents of e-cigarette argue that practice is very healthy compared to traditional cigarettes because users are only inhaling water vapor and nicotine so they are not affecting the lungs okay so this is how it is happening coming to issue number 22 which is amendment to companies act Rajya Sabha has passed and it was adopted by Lok Sabha in July this year the bill provides for more than 40 amendment to companies act 2013 the amendment seeks to strengthen corporate governance standards initiate strict action against defaulting companies and help improve ease of doing business in our country so primarily ye jo companies act hai uske rules thode modify kare gaye hai the major changes are included which are simplification of private placement process koi private placement ke dwara paisa aa raha hai us process ko simplify kiya gaya rationalization of provision related to loans to director replacing the requirement of approval of central government for managerial remuneration above the prescribed limit okay and the prospect related to you can say disclosure requirement so this is how basically being changed okay the bill also provides for maintenance of register of significant beneficial owners and makes offense for contravention of provision relating to deposits on non compoundable okay so basically koi agar galat tarike se business chala raha hai so isko non compoundable cases mein gina jayega so this would facilitate ease of doing business and result in harmonization with cbi rbi and possibly rectify certain omissions in this particular issue coming to issue number 23 crackdown against bitcoin i'm sure you know that bitcoin is a rising craze in our country now it's a cryptocurrency that has rocketed to shocking height and has become under the government's lens the government has begun a crackdown on illegal uses of this unregulated currency widening in the probe bitcoin investment and trade income tax department is set to issue notices to four to five like high net worth individual across the country who are trading on exchanges so this is how the scenario is coming to bitcoin can be an easy way to evade tax or share unsuspecting small investors in ponzi scheme so regulators are worried about their use for illicit and illegal activity so galat tarike se bitcoin use kara jata hai logo ko fasaya jata hai iske andar while some of the countries like nepal bangladesh 
Kyrgyzstan have declared bitcoins as a mean of payment illegal and in violation of the state law. Majority of countries are yet to talk about it. So currently bitcoins are unregulated in India. There are no specific legal framework for bitcoins and cryptocurrencies in India yet. So, so far there are no specific you can say issue is decided by the government on bitcoin. Remember do not forget to watch our bitcoin video which is one of the very good video we have prepared and you will be getting detailed information about bitcoin. Let us talk about blockchain. So, blockchain technology on which this bitcoin works. So, recently the news was there that West Bengal government is planning to introduce blockchain technology to protect its documents from cyber attack. The state government proposed cyber security center of excellence would be entrusted to execute the new blockchain mechanism. The cyber security center will bring the best in the academic law enforcement and other sector under one roof and apply this upcoming technology to protect all their documents. Recently computers at some of the offices in West Bengal a state electricity distribution company were crippled by a virus called WannaCry which was a global ransom virus. So blockchain is an online ledger of digitally recorded transaction which is encrypted in the form of blocks each of which is connected by a network of computers. So that, that is how West Bengal is planning to do. Coming to the last point for the day which is called Methanol Economy Fund. Niti Aayog is planning to set up Methanol Economy Fund worth rupees 4000 to 5000 crore to promote production and use of this clean fuel. The think tank of government of India is aiming at generation of this fuel by converting highest content coal into methanol. Such a plant is expected to set up by Coal India. So far this idea will get developed in next 3 to 4 years. While methanol is a very promising fuel because it is very clean cheaper than the other fossil fuel and it is a good substitute for heavy fuels. India imports methanol from Saudi Arabia and Iran at present. Methanol can be blended with gasoline in a low quantity and used in existing road vehicle or it can be used in high proportion blends such as M85 or M800 flex fuel or dedicated methanol fuel vehicle. Technology is being commercialized to use methanol as a diesel substitute. So this methanol economy fund is one of the very important one because ye kafi achhi tarike se bharat mein madad karega. Methanol is a clean burning fuel that produces fewer smog causing substances like sulfur oxides SOx, nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. As a high octane vehicle fuel methanol offers excellent acceleration and power and it also improves vehicle efficiency. So, Niti Aayog ke purpose ke dwara, this turns out to be one of the very important one. So, I hope this is very important and useful to you. We thank you very much for watching this. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any query, any question, feel free and ask such kind of questions to us. Thank you very much.